Hello, my wildlings, and welcome back to Turnabout for All. In the last episode, we went down here, just behind Nicholas Wild here. We went down here and had a look about. We found uh, Doug's workshop, so to speak, and found some very concerning things in there. Now, you may have noticed that my little icon for my channel looks a little different. And that is all down to the talented work of my dear sister. Uh, here's the full picture of uh, Wild Claw on the left or right, I forget, I believe on the right. And X Cyberdog, her character on the left. And there's a link to, uh, there should be a link to her DeviantArt account in the bottom of the description so that you can go check it out, plus her YouTube channel. She doesn't do much on there, but she uploads stuff every once in a while. So, go check her out. Tell her she's awesome and that she's a really good artist. Because she is. She deserves to know that. Anyway, now that you know why I look different, and hopefully you're not all screaming about how you don't like change, we can get back into the game. And what was I going to do next? I believe I've talked to you. Yes, I have. So, I guess I go somewhere else. Hello? I've got more evidence stuff, but I don't want to show you. Not yet, anyway. Uh, detention center, no. ZPD HQ, that's where I need to be. ZPD building, August 27th, 12.38 p.m. As busy as ever, I see. Never mind the media. We are here for Jack Savage. We will like... He... He will likely still be inside. We will likely soon be inside, because th we need to find Mr. Savage. Therefore, we can only assume that we must also be inside to see him, unless we draw him out. How could we do that? Hmm. Ah, yes, as the judge once said, smoke him out. Right, you get some cigarettes, and I will get my lighter. And then we will stand outside and smoke. And eventually, he will come outside and smoke with us. That's how that works, correct? Uh, I'm not sure that's how that works at all, Edgeworth. And I I wouldn't advise starting smoking if you haven't already. And if you have, I, I would advise quitting. But really, the choice is yours. So obviously, do what you want. But I hear it's bad for your health. So maybe don't. Fine. I will just sit here and exercise my one finger. My pointing finger. The one I point at you when I correct you on something stupid you did. I must make sure it is well exercised in case I need to point at you again. Thanks, Edgeworth. You know, I might actually keep that in mind. I might start practicing uh, exercising my own pointing finger. Yes, I find it my most useful tool as a prosecutor. Yeah, you know, me too, actually. As a defense attorney, obviously, I'm not a prosecutor. But you get the point. <laughs> No, wait, I think that's him now. Hmm. He must be done with his work within and is heading off to join the ZPD at the abandoned station. Oh, it's been a while since I've done this voice. <coughs> Not so abandoned now, huh? Quick, let's say hello before he gets away. Jack Savage. Mr. Wright. Mr. Edgeworth. Might I ask, why are you here? Why you are here? Uh, well, I am Judy's defense attorney. Yes, I suppose you are. But Mr. Edgeworth, there, he is no longer the prosecutor in charge of this case. Sean Connery, I've got this voice completely wrong. He... Both of you, really, should just go home. Sometimes finding the truth means assisting the defense. You forced my hand, Mr. Savage. Jack Savage, Sean Connery, your stubbornness is beyond ridiculous. The both of you. You are truly made for each other. Mm, enough with the snide comments. That is not why we are here. We have questions, Mr. Savage. 
Or will you run and hide like the low brow and cowardly prosecutor I believe you to be? Are you trying to make him mad? Well, it's not a bad idea. I mean, angry people make more mistakes. I can spare a few minutes, but nothing more. I don't know where the voice has gone for him. It's completely gone. Sean Cornery. Wait, that actually worked? It would work. <clears throat> it would work on Francesca, so why not him? The difference is he doesn't have a whip. That's a good point. He doesn't. But I have no doubt that he has a gun. Still, better not waste those few minutes. Well, Judy's arrest. Let's start with that. But would you mind explaining a little more why you arrested Judy? It does not sit quite right with many people, us included. It's no wonder you're confused. She built up quite the image to protect herself. I've completely lost his voice, so I'm going to go with this from now on. Yes, this is Jack Savage's new voice. He's uh, had some work done on his voice box. The face of the ZPD. The face of deceit, maybe. You're avoiding the question. I'm not avoiding anything. Uh, but neither will I leak my case to the defense before the trial begins. You will see my reasoning, and you will weep as your case crumbles before you. Could this guy be any more arrogant? Probably yes. Don't jinx it. He will do. Exactly that. Maybe that's a job requirement for being a prosecutor or something. Look, you don't have to provide your entire case or anything, but I want a straight answer. Why was Judy arrested? Oh boy. That sounded like locks. If only I could see them. Oh boy. These things again. This again? Mr. Wright, why do you look so pale all of a sudden? Uh... It's nothing. So does this mean Judy's arrest has something to do with the last time these appeared? That is to say, it's related to his personal feelings about predators and prey. What happened to cause such bitterness and pain within him? What has the Magatama found within you? If you're quite done staring, your few minutes are up. Now, if you'll excuse me. Right, why do you look so troubled? It's the Magatama. He's hiding something very deep down in his heart. Ugh, that thing again. Well then, you best unlock them while you have the chance. Edgeworth, I'm not sure I can. Or if I even should. Hmm? But I might have to if I want to get to the truth. Yeah. Well, I suppose that's all we can get out of him for now. Not very helpful, I suppose. Do I want to present things to him? Well, it's like he said, I don't want to point out my case for uh, actually getting to the trial. That would not be very good, I guess. Hmm. Nothing else I can say to him. Nothing to examine. Jeez, that goes all right, right off the page. Uh, where am I going? I guess the detention center. Oh yes, I am correct. Detention center it is. They have gone to collect him. Finally, maybe we'll get a few answers. Or another question or two. I am keen to hear about the night howlers he's been harvesting. Well, now's the time. Oh boy, what was your voice? Me, yeah, uh, hi. Uh, are you all right? Yeah, fine, completely, yes. It appears Savage didn't go easy during questioning. 
enough to do this? So, you, uh, wanted to see me? Yeah, I have some questions. Qu questions? M more? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, about the Night Howlers. Mr. Ramses, you were... Oh, Ramses. I'm sorry. I know you... I know I've been told how this is supposed to be pronounced, but I am... I am very forgetful. <laughs> You were growing night howlers recently, correct? Night howlers? I think so, yes. Jeez, this guy is really out of it. So you were growing these for bellwether? Bellwether? No, no, no. I haven't seen her since... That thing. The arrest thing. So, we were, so you were working by yourself this time around? Yes, just me, nobody else. Hmm, I better make a note of that. Yes, that will come in handy later, only to be covered up by whatever lie our dear old prosecutor decides to throw away. So you weren't involved in any of the recent string of crimes then? Those... You mean the thing that Bunny wanted? I'd better ask him for more detail on what Savage wanted from him. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to give him PTSD if I remind him of it. <laughs> so what was it that Jack Savage asked about? He asked me many questions. Never sleeping. He does look ready to collapse. Probably why he's barely coherent. He wanted to know about a murder, and train, I think. Oh, and this bunny was attacked too. But it was mostly about the train. But it didn't go anywhere. I mean, you had nothing to do with any of that. I confessed. What? I... I confess. But... what? Y you confessed? What to? He questioned me for hours, days, I don't know. It was just overnight. What happened in that questioning room? He seems nervous. Scared? Right, this all seems very suspect. I know. S so, were you involved with these crimes? Yes, I was. That bunny, Judy Hobbs. I helped her pull it all off. Well, that's clearly a lie. Unfortunately, I can't present magic stones in court, so I'm going to have to find proper evidence. Oh. What? You're lying to me, Mr. Ramses. Why are you lying to me? But I confess... I know for a fact you are. But why? Why confess to a crime you didn't commit? Oh, bugger off. You were off to do something else. Don't want to talk to you. Well, that's... I've completely lost his voice. Again. He's a very difficult one to pin down, that rabbit. That's quite enough, Mr. Wright. Can you not see the poor man needs his rest? What what did you do, Savage? I only did what was required of me, that is all. Aren't you meant to be investigating with the ZPD? I thought you might be sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. And it appears I was right. You mean the defense attorney? Trying to find the truth? Jeez, what a surprise. Maybe if you weren't always getting in the way. Nobody shall question Doug Ramses further until further notice that that is all. You, you can't. I just did. See you in court, right? I don't believe this. God, I really hate this guy. 
It appears there is little else we can do here. Yeah, let's keep looking elsewhere. I don't know where else to go. Oh, look, he's back. Quick, let's talk to him. Oh. He won't talk to me. Oh. I thought we were friends. Since when? Fair point. We've never been friends at all. But still. Um, um, have a chat? No, I'm not supposed to talk to you. But you're talking to me now. No, oh, shit. I really should have thought that through. Oh well, I'm having a nap. Yeah, actually, fair enough. Have a nap, you really need it. Let's check the apartment. Oh, that was the right place to go. Yay. Nick and Judy's apartment, August 27th, 1.45pm. Mm, well, we gathered some information. I'd honestly prefer more. As would I, but with Savage in the picture, I don't think that will happen before the trial. Yeah, and what was up with Doug Ramses? I think it's clear that J Jack Savage has forced a false confession. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I believe it's his testimony I'm going to have to break in court. Ah, we can handle that. We've done this before. So many times. That will be a priority. But I will not be joining you. You won't? I have some more leads I wish to follow. But it may take some time. Right. Even if things don't go your way in court. I want you to try and delay the proceedings as much as possible. Get the investigation extended if you can. I think I can do that. I am, after all, the turnabout king. I do wish you would stop using that irritating catchphrase of yours. Well, it's less a catchphrase, more of a title that was bestowed upon me. Right, I'm going to sleep. If you don't shut up, I'm going to slap you. Fair enough. You must try. But for now, the courtroom shall soon await you. Oh boy, a forced confession. A false accomplice. I would have my work cut out for me, as Jack Savage closed in. Oh boy. To be continued. Immediately. Oh boy, here comes the courthouse stuff. Hey Judy. How you doing? Hey Phoenix. Hey Judy. You ready? Oh, could I ever be ready for something like this? Oh, this is not where I pictured myself being. I can imagine. Oh, where's Mr. Edgeworth at, anyway? I'm still investigating some lead or another. He's being rather secretive about it. Uh, but he's not giving up, and neither am I. I hope not. The trial hasn't even started yet. I'll be cheering you guys on from the gallery in the meantime. Well, all support is appreciated. Well, I'm not waiting around while my own life is on the line. I'll be at the defence's bench right with you, Phoenix. We'll show Jack Savage who he's messing with. Your confidence might actually give me some. Come on, smile! Yeah, she's right. I must keep smiling until the bitter end. That's what Mia would do. Speaking of Mia, I'm surprised she hasn't shown up yet. What is she up to? She's doing some ghost investigating. It's kind of like normal investigation, but every time she finishes a sentence, she has to go say, Ooh. It's actually kind of annoying. So you're like in a in a questioning room or whatever, and you're like talking to this guy, and he's like, I'm going to... I'm not evil. I didn't do it because I'm a nice person. Woo! Then she's all like, I know you did it. I have the evidence right here. Woo! And then it goes on for ages. And eventually it just shortens down to both of them just sat there going, Ooh, woo, 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 until eventually she gets a confession from them. A real one. Because they're all ghosts, they all know when the, the others are lying. Because that's how ghosts work. Now you know. 
Uh, what's wrong, Phoenix? Uh, nothing. Just thinking. About what? Uh, it's not important. Yeah, she wouldn't believe me anyway. Yeah, probably not. Could the defense uh, please enter the courtroom? It seems it's our time. To shine or to fall? Hopefully the former. Even if things go bad, I must delay things another day for Edgeworth. Whatever it is he's up to, I really hope it helps my case. Zootopia Courthouse, courtroom number two, August 30th, 11 a.m. Oh boy, here we go. A court is now in session for the trial of Miss Judith Hopps. Hmm. And now there is a line I didn't expect to be uttering. Are you sure you're up for this, Miss Hopps? I'd like to be involved in my own defence, thank you. Very well. And the defence has no objection, I assume? None, Your Honour. As you wish. But what of the pros... <coughs> prosecution? Sorry, that would be the turkey sandwich I had earlier. So, does Mr. Edgeworth have any objections? My only, ob my only objection is to his honour's eyesight. Uh, and you are? Jack Savage, agent and acting prosecutor for this trial. And for some reason, my voice has changed again. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth shall not be making any appearances, I'm afraid. That sounds like you've got him tied up somewhere so that he can't get some evidence out. Oh, I see. Shouldn't you have known this from the case file, Your Honour? Whoever the prosecutor is, my question still stands. Are there any objections to the defendant standing at the defence's bench? None. I care not for such an effort in futility. Oh, I'm going to wipe that smug look off your face eventually. You may think you've won, but the higher you think you're climbing, the further you'll have to fall, Mr. Savage. Oh, that was... that felt dark. I like it. Very well. Are the defence and prosecution ready? The defence is ready, Your Honour. Ready to do my sworn duty, Your Honour. In that case, would the prosecution please give their opening statement? Hmm. Sure, I wouldn't be standing here if I wasn't going to give one. My voice has gone back to the almost terrible impression of Sean Connery voice. I've found it. That's the voice I had before. The accused is Zip. I've lost the voice again. Sean Connery. The accused ZPD officer, Judith Laverne Hopps. She is accused of masterminding a series of crimes that have been occurring as of late. Sean Corey. We have sufficient evidence and testimony to successfully indict the defendant of this crime. Crimes she has masterminded include the murder of Jerry Jumbo Jr., derailing a train that the pop star Gazelle had been travelling on, and attacking her own father. I shall take this court through how she masterminded each crime in order of occurrence, and then the due verdict shall be reached. Isn't that correct, Judge? Well, yes, of course. I shall slam down my gavel def definitively. Could the defence do some defending before that, by chance? Mm, yes, I suppose that would be prudent. Never get to use my gavel for guilty verdicts anymore. I miss getting to send people to their death. Or whatever it is that happens afterwards. 
I mean, I, there was that one time I, I got someone guilty and I, I slammed the gavel down and a magic beam sort of appeared out of it and sort of dragged them into my beard. Now I miss those days. Oh, everyone's innocent. It's so boring. Suppose? I'm pretty sure it's just how the court works. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure how it should work anymore. If the defence is done muttering amongst itself, could the prosecution please call out its first witness? Of course. We'll begin with the first crime. The Diana, Sean Corey. We'll begin with the first crime. The murder of one Jerry Jumbo Jr. His voice has changed again. <laughs> I will pin down a voice. I probably won't pin down a voice for him, eventually. <laughs> Oops. Sean Connery. Sean Connery. In that regard, I call Chief Bogo to the stand. Hello, Bogo. I'm here as you requested, Your Honor. It's good to see you can do as you're told, Chief. Don't push your luck, savage. Now, now, no need for frets. In your position, what would be... That would be very unwise for your career. Why that little... Try not to let him get under your skin. It's the chief I'm worried about. If we're all quite done, name and occupation. Bogo, chief of police. Chief, please refresh this court's memory as to the details of the murder. Very well. It occurred back in June at the victim's own ice cream parlor. That is where he would meet his grisly end. Dun dun dun. Witness testimony. Alright, Bogo, what you got for me? The victim. <clears throat> the victim was an elephant. Obviously, quite a large individual. The victim was shot using the gun of Officer Nicholas Wilde, which had been stolen by a bunny. The bunny was an expert shot using the single loaded round to shoot the victim in the heart. Said Bunny then fled the scene, having already paid one Miss Witness to act as a false witness. Officer Wilde was framed for the crime, but the truth was vowed and he was cleared of all charges. Oh yes, I remember it all clear as day. Although days aren't very clear anymore, my cataracts are acting up. Um, again, who are you? I'm... think I see your face. Sort of. He just clears his eyes as he looks around. He's like, oh my gosh, they're all animals. What's going on? Oh, what an introduction to this fair city that was. The first domino and the one that led to this very day. And you're seriously accusing my client of being this bunny? Obviously. Or did you not notice her floppy ears? Species alone is hardly enough for an indictment. Indictment. Indict. Nye. Nah, I never said I based my accusation from her species alone. No, I have a far more compelling evidence that shall be revealed in due course. But for now, I suggest the defence does its job. For as long as it can. Oh, well, then let the defence begin its cross-examination. Cross-examination? Oh, God, this again. We got this. But I'll tell you what, we got this in the next episode. And I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.